In this tutorial, I want to share with you the way I configure my throttle quadrant specifically for the Airsoft Digital Aviation CRJ. And if you want to use and follow my method, you must have uh, uh, the FSUIPC add on installed in your flight simulator. If you don't have it, you will find the link uh, in the description box below this video. Till this point of time, the reverse thrust is not intercepted from the reverse zone of the throttle quadrant. And this is not due to a problem from your own throttle set or FSUIPC add-on configuration. Actually, the software designer purposely wanted to eliminate the reverse thrust range from the throttle quadrant based on the documentations. Let's open the FSUIPC throttle calibration PDF file and scroll down and here is what they say. This automatically assigns a reverse range which we need to eliminate. So they want actually to eliminate the reverse range from the throttle setup using the FSUIPC. Now I'm gonna show you uh, step by step how I configure my own throttle quadrant specifically for this software. And here is the way I assign the levers. Spoiler lever, throttle 1, throttle 2 and the flap lever. First make sure that the throttle levers can move in their full range using your calibration tool. On your desktop open the Aerosoft CRJ manager. Then click the options tab to open the option window. Then from the throttle axis value range drop menu I select FSUIPC without reverse range. Click on save configuration then close the CRJ manager window. Now run your flight simulator then from add-ons menu select FSUIPC. This will open FSUIPC options and settings window. Now select joystick calibration. Using the back and forward arrow Find throttles per engine menu and it looks like this. Click on set tabs for both throttle 1 and 2. Check uh, the no reverse zone. Now move both throttles lever to full forward position. Then click on max tabs for both throttles. Now move both throttles to full backward position. Then click on minimum tabs for both throttles. Finally, click uh, OK to exit the FSU IPC window. Now you can see the throttles uh, can move uh, from idle to climb with a large uh, range for the manual control. Then climb detent, toga detent, then finally max power detent. Let me now show you how I set the engine's reverse with uh, my uh, throttle quadrant. Going back to add-ons menu and select FS UIPC. This time I will use buttons and switch tab. Then I check profile specific. From my throttle quadrant I use one switch just below throttle 1. Down position is for engaging the reverses. Up position is for decreasing the reverses. So I will program that way this uh, switch with the FSU IPC. I push the switch down to select uh, this in FSU IPC. The button number is shown here. Now check the box uh, with select for key press. Then click on set tab. Now using your PC keyboard press F2 function. Finally check the box with key press to repeat while held. Now I follow the same steps for the up position. I push the switch up to select this button in FSUIPC as it's shown here as a number 4 button. I check select for key press box. Then this time push F3 function on your keyboard. Finally I check key press to repeat while held box. Click OK to close the uh, FSUIPC window. All set now. Let me show you how this looks. Now if I want to apply full reverse, I push and hold my programmed switch down. And you can see engine's reverses are activated.
Now if I want to decrease the reverses, I push and hold the switch up. Hopefully my video was helpful and thank you for watching.